Hello everyone, and today I'm back with Mixed Daily Training. Let's have fun and let's go! Okay. So, play against pretty fishy. Hello, good luck. Ah. Internet is lagging. Hello, good luck, I said. Oh, come on, not like that, internet. Eh? Why? Why? Why can't I say hello, good luck? It's pretty fishy! <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, good luck. Hello. Good luck. Weird. Okay. I'm playing with white. Okay, let's go with C4. Uh -huh, so I can go to Catalan or I can go to H3. Let's play in H3. Taras. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's how you play it. Now I need to remember. Hmm, I think bishop c4. Rook f e1. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm protecting the pawn. Okay, queen d6. Interesting. Well, I guess I can just go bishop d3. I didn't go bishop d3 here, though. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know theory here at all, so I don't know much here. I don't know, this e5 is interesting. I mean, queen d6 logical preventing queen f4, I guess. I mean, I guess he has to do well. I mean, it doesn't have to right now, but yeah. Uh, to be honest, I'm going to wait like rook ac1. I'm waiting for knight c6 or e4, queen d5, bishop e4, with stamp point knight losing. He has queen d7 there. Yeah, the problem when he moved h6, I don't have any direct threats with like knight g5, queen f4 stuff. But it still should be good. There is, I think, some thematical d5, e5 breaks, and then like knight d4. You sack a pawn, but then you have space. Let's just seem to calculate as well. Hold on. E5, queen b8, I guess. I mean, d5 is possible here, but d5... I'm not sure. I mean, if I like queen here, I queen f4, queen f3, this knight is a little passive. Okay, queen e7. To be honest, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Felt a little bit odd to make this move. But okay, seems okay for him. I don't know, I'm going to go rook c7 and then take take. Bishop vs knight, knight is pinned to his queen, I think. I Wait, I don't have to take, but the move I have is bishop b5, but then he just says bishop d5, and I think it will be fine. I don't know, I'll take. <laughs> Let's see what's, what will happen after this. Uh, uh -huh. Queen d8. Huh. Probably move rook c6 or something like that. She's played four times against pretty fish already. Cool. Oh, yeah, I remember this game. 
So I might have that card alone, right? Yeah. Ah, he just hung. Yeah, right. Just hung the knight there. Yes, I remember that I was better. Uh, okay, this game wasn't so good, and this game was the first game where it was equal, right? Pretty much, and he just didn't take, and he lost at the end. It was ten months ago. Wow. Okay, so fish is ooh, be sinking. Unless my internet lags. <laughs> um. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I mean, wait, bishop e4, I can. My threat is just to win a pawn, right? Bishop e4, rook. He has to move his rook and rook a7. Yeah, very much, I think. Okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, he's still thinking for quite a while now, but yeah, it's rapid and he, it's his time, so he can see how much he wants to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, 95. Whoa, Miss Girl, I missed it, I think. Well, that's a nice move. <laughs> that's why he thought for so long. It looks some pleasant. But wait, if I do this, this can g2, knight d2, rook e2. Is knight just trap or am I missing something? I mean, I dare it. I think he just blundered. I'm not sure here and rookie too. <laughs> I'm probably missing something though. Yeah, right, I mean, I have to take the knight. Um, okay. So we forced this position. Should be seven king of eight right here. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, that's why he thought for so long, yeah. I, I didn't even wait that move at all. Okay, Bishop H7. Now Rook F7 D4. And now what if I just do like Rook G4? And I just get my bishop out, don't I? Uh, idea bishop g6, of course. If he goes g5, I just get my bishop like to c2 and then to b3 and then rook e4. And it should be better, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Am I missing something? Hope not. Let's try it. Rook g4, g5. Okay. And just bishop c2 here and then I attack weaknesses. And that should be pretty good for me. Uh, bishop c2, bishop b3. And so right now I have a bishop for two pawns, which is pretty good. <laughs> um, but we'll see if I will be able to realize the advantage here. I just need to get my rook out, to be honest, because g4 isn't the best place for the rook. Place for the rook. I mean, I can just play bishop b3, and all my pawns are protected either by my bishop or by my king. 
and his pawns may have some trouble being defended to be honest but we'll see of course d7 attacking his pawn <clears throat> This sure. <laughs> I made the move, but now I'm not sure whether it was good. <laughs> yeah, this sometimes it happens quite often to chess players. You think you think and then you're like suddenly like, oh, maybe it wasn't a good move after all. <laughs> okay, I didn't see I don't really see why it's so bad, so maybe it's playable. I mean, I'm at least like pinning his, not pinning, wait, no, pin is not there, it's not a pin for sure, but I'm like, skewer also is not the right, ah, uh, a pin I guess, no, pin is not the right word here, for sure, mm. I may play h3, and yeah, like rook h7, rook b7, I'm not sure about h3 move because I created a weakness, but I want to be honest to prevent his g4 stuff and like pushes, uh, pushing his pawn. So, and now technically bishop d1 is idea to fix his, all of his pawns to dark squares, and basically I can just be like then f3 king f3 king g4 f3, it should be pretty good. Okay, go skin of five. See bishop d1. I just want his pawn to go to h to h4, and then it will be a weakness. I'm pretty sure. Oh well, it won't be a weakness, but then light squares will be a huge weakness for him. The only pawn which is not on light squares will be e6, uh, which is on light squares. I'm not sure. I'm <laughs> saying some stuff wrong. Sorry today. Um, Let's see, I can, I'm pretty sure I can give a check here. I mean, on the wars, he will take, say, 2 pawn for b6 pawn, which actually isn't that bad, I'm pretty sure. Um, Let's see, I was thinking about this move. Pretty even on time. Uh, yeah, now here. Okay, let's play like rook h8, I'm not sure. Uh, Wasn't the best maneuver of all time, but after all, to be honest. Okay, I will move my. Okay, I'll pass him the move. I'm not sure if that's any helpful, to be honest, but okay. And we'll see. I'm thinking of bringing back my bishop and then trying to activize my king. And go to like h5. Okay, bishop d1, bishop b3.
This is didn't happen three times, right? Didn't you six work in a five form be a draw, will it? <laughs> it would be not nice if it would be a draw. But we'll see, we'll see. Okay, let's play rook f7, rook f3. Maybe something good because she has b5. But okay. I'm not sure about this, to be honest. I think I need to activate my kin. Feeling. <laughs> need to do it. Wow. I don't know how and when. So I'll have to wait. Yeah, I think b5 is maybe going to be a little bit unpleasant. We'll see. But I'm not sure for whom, though. Maybe it will be unpleasant for him as well. Yeah, he goes for b5. Um, let's play rook d3. I mean, if his pawn will be a4, b5, it would be great because basically these pawns are target for me. So if that would happen, it would be awesome. Let's see, rook d8. I mean, if you play a4 now, I think I'm much better because b5 pawn is a huge weakness then, and then if I will win it, b4, a4 pawn will fall as well, and that will be really good. Um, yeah. If g4 now, I have rook f8. My idea, I think, is rook a6 trying to force him to play a4. But if he plays b4 now, it still won't be that great for him, I think. I don't know, it feels... <laughs> yeah, this, uh, I'm going here, and an idea, bishop d1, bishop e2. So if rook c1, bishop e2, rook here, 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 yeah, I should be... I think if I take these two pawns and we transpose to bishop and king endgame, I should be much better. Un unless I am left with h pawn, <laughs> then it would be a draw, so I have to be careful with that, otherwise I think I'm pretty good. Placed here. Okay, let's see. Bishop e2 looks like a move here. Okay, for rook d5, I think I have rook a5 before rook e4, so pretty sure he has to go rook d2, something like that. Mm hmm. Let's calculate the endgame real quick. I think rook a4, rook a4, rook a4, bishop a4, king of 5, king of 3. I should be winning there. Um, yeah, let's take with the rook. I think unless I'm blundering something really badly, should be won there. Pretty sure I'm not blundering anything badly, at least I hope so. Uh, so, then I should be won. Oh, he does take. Uh, am I missing something? Hmm, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Let's see, what if I just like play bishop g7, right? Bishop g7, g4, I take. And one. And e5, you cannot play. King f6. Uh, I'm pretty sure bishop g7 is a good move here. I just have to be left with f pawn. Then I will win in. Totally. So if that, is, if that requirement is met, I won. I'm pretty sure, yeah, he's getting a really long time. I think my king will get to g4, then he'll play e5, I'll somehow play bishop 6, bishop e4, and I think I'll win this. Even if he plays g4, I have like bishop... Okay, he goes here. Yeah, I was thinking if g4... Okay, he just gave up. I know the game pretty fishy. Good game, thank you. I was thinking, yeah, if he would play g4, then I even have like bishop e6, king 6, a g, and then king f6, king h3, king g5, f4, king f4, and that's one end game. So I'm pretty sure that was a decent game. <laughs> um, yep. It's cool, and I'm lagging again after I finish the game. That's weird. Uh, is the stream going well? It does. Uh, okay, there you go. I'm re I reloaded, and now I can analyze. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I was scared at first when he played knight e5, but then I'm pretty sure it didn't work out for him at the end. What happened in this game? I just got worse. I was a pawn down in, in, in an unpleasant endgame, and then I didn't play that great, and then I, <laughs> at the end I lost. Okay, so he was better. Rook c7, take, take. Okay, rook fc8. So he just goes to this endgame? Okay, no, he doesn't, because in this endgame, wait, I can just take, and yeah, my king is going here, and I'm one after king e2. Makes sense. So I played 2 nil nil, pretty good for an opener, I didn't know at all. So and he played nil one two. So it was Tarash. Uh, yeah, usually Tarash, I, I mean, I'm not sure. Uh, C, D, E, D, yeah, okay, 95 is actually the main move. Uh, takes, 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 here, here, takes, takes, here. Uh, yeah, bishop c4, remember, is the best move, then castle, bishop b7, rook f e1, here. Okay, here people play rook d one but I played bishop d3. It's maybe not the best move. Uh, here, here, and rook 7 next, I just had to go queen e3. Simply, I like space advantage. Then here, that's a blunder, you had to go for rook fc8. And then play queen d8, and if I take, I'm slightly worse in this end game. It's definitely holdable, but still, it would be a little bit more pleasure to play. Though I'm not sure how this knight is less active, but okay, it's slightly better by computer. King to next, I to go for king f1, take this uh, with my king. But okay, and rook e4 was blunder, I had to go for king f8 first, and then make me go with my rook. And then play this position with two rooks, he has more chances because it's a little scary. King e2, king e2, e5, f no, I have to go rook d1. And if for bishop 2, that's why you play king, uh, king e2. But he played rook a d7, take, take, and that would be pretty holdable for him. After rook d4, I took, took, here, here. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I, I knew that I'm winning probably somehow because like <laughs> I have bishop versus two pawns. But it was definitely holdable. I'm not sure. Yeah, I kind of like pr didn't really provoke. Yeah, I provoked him actually. But I didn't really provoke him. I just gave him like, you play a5, b5? Or yeah, my plan was I would play a4. He's just saying that like play here, right? And then okay, rook c4, f would be 3 I think, and I should be fine. But if he goes for like in g7, he's just staying. I'm going here, and King G6 here, and hold on, what was the my, what was my idea? Ah, uh, yeah, there you go, Zugzwang here, here, Bishop before I was maybe not exactly here. It sounds like Bishop here, and then like King F3, I really want to take, and if he goes back, I go here, this King E3, and I'm one. Sounds like that was my idea too. I'm four, but he played B5. Then this, this, and then now he has pawns on a pawn. Yeah, basically, I'm pretty sure. Um, I just had to play rook b2. I would be still completely winning, but it would be much harder because I mean, my pawns, if my pawns probably would be like together, it would be easier. If if each pawns didn't exist, it would be, I think, much easier. But yeah, he just played rook a4, and I took in a5. Should be some pretty cool move, I think. I mean, f3 also wins as well. Ah, uh, but bishop d7 fell stylish and g4, bishop e6 wins, because takes, takes, and that is, uh, okay, f4, so he plays here, and then I have, well, I can technically do even this, that's totally one, but maybe much easier, no, wait, okay, king f6, f4, and king e5, I have king h3, so I won, but if even here, here, I can just play f6, so that would be one, and basically, if king f6, I want to play king f3 and then king g4, and then, Slowly zooms on him and I would win, but here he just gave up. I don't think pretty fishy. Good game. And so here he had to go for rook fc8. Then king f8. And uh, rook b2. Right. Uh, now let's download row. Here. So it was a pretty good game, I think. Wait, just me open twice? No. Okay, to open this game. Um, okay. So, default. Let's see. So, knight of c, d5. Let's see this reference here, because reference here is think, more precise than Alicia's. Let's disconnect. Uh -huh. And I'm lagging. Mm, there you go. Okay, so here, here. c46. 
this, this, takes, 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 takes here. Let's see, here, I'm pretty sure. B6 is a bit of like sideway move. Castle is a main move. Nobody actually played B6. Oh no, he castled and then B6 here. Uh, still, it's on move 97, 96 are main two moves. 96 has really bad percentage, but it's fine. Here, castle. Uh, bishop b7. Yeah, rook f1. I was going by theory, and then, like, I don't know, after queen d6, we, very weird move. It's not so many games played. Two of them, one of them was just, like, really old. Another game was Raytash against Nabati. And then. Yeah, you see, that's what I was talking about. You play d5, e5, and then you're a pawn down, but. But you have a good position, and you you definitely have the compensation for that pawn. But then black somehow went on to hold it. I think pretty pretty luckily to that they held this game. But okay, um, that was so shiny again. Shepkovska, something similar to my game. Um, a bit different though. And white was better here because queen was kind of trapped, but black. Black managed to escape, and then even Black had some advantage, but at the end the game ended in a draw. Then this game, yeah, again, e5, d5, d5, e5, which is just better. Uh, so yeah, but I play bishop d3, h6, rook here, here, e5. Yeah, I was thinking d5, e5, but okay, says e5 is the best. And now that's an inaccuracy. Actually, a mistake, maybe. I think just queen e3, just play it safe, like, um, here, here, knight c4, bishop a6, get my knight, like, queen d4, knight f8, knight d6, take, 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 I'm slightly better, just playing strategically, but I played rook c7, he took, took, knight e5 was actually a blunder, yeah, I thought, like, why did he take for so long, but he was calculating this, and then it turned out it didn't work, um, he yeah, just had to play rook fc8. Because I have this bad pawn structure, I kind of gave him the initiative. And okay, bishop h7 is a great move actually to make his king go to h8. And then you take, 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 and bishop e4. And now he has to waste his time to go to king g8. That's a great move because uh, king h7 is a huge blunder because queen c2 and white is totally won. And yeah, but rook fc8 he was better uh, slightly here. Rook e2. Okay, king g2 was slight inaccuracy. Uh, king f1, king e2, king d2, king e3 would be much more active and that would be better. Knight d2, rook e2, rook fd8 here, and that was a blunder from him. Uh, because yeah, if he would play king f8, like rook b7, rook d4, I have to go king f3 or king f1, then rook a d8. Here takes takes that's much holdable for him, and uh, definitely huge compensation three pawns for a bishop that's almost a draw. But I think he maybe missed that after g6 I don't have to go like rook d7 and somehow play with this trap bishop. I just have rook g4 and then g5 bishop c2 and then slowly but surely I'm not sure about h3 move. Wait, felt right to play and then I somehow did something got my rook to f3 forced him to play b5. Then this we traded a one a pawn and then rook a4 was a total blunder. I mean okay I was already plus five like one into stockfish but after rook a4 I'm like plus twelve. Um he had to go for rook b2 and then uh, I don't know like here, here, bishop page five, yeah. I think this is a pretty good spot for my bishop g4 square. It's really nice though. On the next move, computer moves it. Bishop f3, uh rook b5 no not rook b4, rook b5. And then, I mean, I'm totally one, but it still requires some, some technique. Oh, so it says like rook a8 here, h5, and then like, I'm totally one, but with compensation, to move with small compensation for black. But then after rook e4, takes, takes, here, here. He just gave up without even waiting for me to make a move because queen of three would be totally one. And I want the game pretty fishy. Let's see here, leeches games with analysis, and then my game some leeches. Um, two, two, five. There you go, nice. Uh, now let's go to chess.com, computer, let's play against Commodore level 22. Oh, 
73, 72, this random color, and let's go. D4, all right. Let's see. E6, D3, D5, knock out a lot, right? You place knight 3. Yeah. <laughs> I could have gone for Tarash and gone for the same variation, but uh, in my opinion, it's pretty unpleasant to play it. What am I doing in English before? <laughs> just, I just confused opening lines, and now I'm not sure. E4 looks very, very sharp. I think I can take, can't I? Aha, uh -huh, and then he goes, looks for one side castle, as it seems. <laughs> okay, it's interesting. Interesting plan, never seen it before. Of course it may gain some popularity some some time ago and I didn't notice it. Okay, but I take and I'm not so sure. I mean one side castle I can open the position up. So it goes for queen e5. Wants to trade the queen. So ah what was the point of the variation? Did he just waste some time? <laughs> I'm not sure, to be honest. I'm really not sure about it. Okay, I'll take. And if knight e5, I think I can go knight d7. And if I take c6, bishop e6, it will be very, very pleasure to play against uh, the isolated pawn. I should probably... Okay, he does take. Um. Okay, and then I play c6, and then he has bishop c4, right? Ace in time. Uh huh. Okay, rook f d8, king f8, king f8, preventing rook e7. I'm not sure. A5 looks very interesting. Now d5 doesn't really work for him because a5, d5 takes an a4 pawn hang. So, but a5, he has rook e5, f b5, take, take, no. Um, pawn down there. Boom. F b6, I guess. B6, okay, C8, and then B8. I'm not sure. I mean, I don't really want him to gain much space, so let's play A5, Rook E5. Is, no, he plays Rook A3. Uh, now I can actually consider B5, I guess. Maybe a wild move, but it's interesting. <laughs> it sounds pretty interesting. I can may as, I may as well just calculate C5. Maybe this idea is actually to play Rook F3, to be honest, because... My pawn will just hang there. Uh, b5 take take b2 for example. Rook a8. This looks all right. I mean he has d passer, but he doesn't really do. Okay, he can do. That. He can really do much with it. I think b5 is a nice move to play. Actually, I'm not sure. Okay, he does bishop a. He plays bishop a2. Um, can take I think. Okay, I was thinking to play like bishop e8, and if rook a4, I just play c5, rook c4, take, take, play this drawish endgame, and then I can maybe even go a4 and have a really strong pawn, because like, what else to do? I'm not sure, I think bishop e8 is a cool move. Okay, doesn't want to trade. Let's see, does this work? Rook a c8, c5 idea. Well, yes, it does. He has d5, I have rook d6. This pawn is a weakness, so I'm not really sure about it. Um, okay. Let's see, rook a c8. Hmm. Rook a c8, c5 idea. If rook a4, take, take. Here, rook c4 takes. Okay, I don't know. Play rook a c8, looks fine. Okay, c5. It takes here, and bishop six. Okay, <laughs> that is interesting. I definitely didn't wait this move from him. Um, it's interesting, to be honest. Um, but pretty logical. Now that I look at it, it's pretty lot. Not pretty. It's actually really logical because king b one is really unpleasant. Bishop six, bishop b four stuff. This looks really good from him. I mean, not, maybe not really good position for for him, but a really nice move from him. I think I can play bishop six, and if he goes through k seven, bishop d five trading the bishops away, and then it should be fine after rook b five stuff. And if g three, bishop b four. So I will try it. Okay, rook a7, I think bishop d5 works. So you take, take, king d3, rook b8. 
goes through B7, and D3 stuff, and Rook C2. Mm -hmm. Let's take it. Okay, it takes, I take. He plays, he offers a Rook trade. Hmm. Not too sure about it. Because, <laughs> I mean, then my pawn will be much weak compared to his pawn. I think Rook B8 is alright. Okay, B4. It's an interesting, that's the right move from him. I cannot take because Rook C8 mate. <laughs> so, really sneaky move from him, but it seems to work eventually somehow. Uh, King G8. And Rook C4 is his idea. But if I go Rook B5, yes, Rook C7. Four, aye, aye, aye. It doesn't look great actually. He may as well, he may as well just trap me. Sneaky Komodo! G5 is a move though. See, so take, take, and an idea, both spawn hang. Let's do it. Okay, now rook up 5. Mm-hmm. See, I mean, I guess I have to take. Uh, rook d8, no, rook d8 isn't good. I will take and then rook f4, rook f2 stuff. Let's get all his pawns with my rook. <laughs> um, d3, king d3, rook f2, b5, rook g2, king c3. Oh, I'm not sure if that's three pawns versus rook and game is good for me, to be honest. Uh, they're there. Okay, I'll play sink d3 is a fine move. Doesn't seem to hurt much. Now rook f2 to trying to take all his pawns to left. <laughs> and of course it doesn't let me. <laughs> because it's a goal of chess. Ah, uh, rook h2. Okay, king g7. Rook b2. Rook b1. B king g6, f5. Or h5. I'm pretty sure f5 draws. Take, take, g4. And we both have passers. Do we have more than draw? I mean, I, can, I don't really want him to let push his pawn. Rook g1 lets it. And yeah, I think f5 is the right move. Take, take, yeah, g4. That seems pretty drawish to me, to be honest. And then, yeah, he's holding my pawn, I'm holding his pawn. I'm moving him, my king, he's moving his king. And then he'll play probably. Okay, he gives a check. That's a pretty logical thing to do. Just to waste my tempos. There is b5. I'm going to do this. Uh, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. Da -da -da. Yeah, let's go King H2. I'm not sure I want to test his endgame technique. <laughs> if you can say so. And okay, I guess I have to play G1. And I'll try to play like Rook G5. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm sure he gives me nothing, but let's just have fun. Uh, Rook G6 open for a really blunder. Okay, Rook B1, King C5, King C3, King C6, and a 4. B7 there. I'm not in time, unluckily. But I guess I'll try it. Here, six here, yeah. I'm just like one move, not in time. If my king would be on e6, check. Yeah, it's still not enough. <laughs> so this, I will, I will give him a check. He can even go to b6, I think. Yeah, and he does. Sneaky. Um, yeah, here. Let's not play king d6. Let's play king d5. Hoping for some weird blunder. But okay, he promotes rook b1, rook b8, and that's the draw. Thanks for the game to Grandmaster22. Komodo, it was an interesting game to be honest. The analysis. The analysis loads. Let's, in meanwhile, in meantime, while I'm waiting for analysis, let's have some tactics and just 24. Okay, 25. 99%. Or should I play rook d7 first? 
Yeah, rook d7, so he doesn't have queen h2. That's a nice maneuver. Uh, not maneuver, but little trick. Solution was puzzle. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, my queen hangs, but what if I just take his bishop and then I take and then I take his queen and then I win? Pretty cool puzzle. Um, let's see. Uh, knight c6. I think it's a precise move. Now he, if rook is here, queen c2, and his queen isn't protected by his rook, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I was betting the opening, yeah, plus two. Played really poorly the opening, but queen e5 was a huge blunder. But he played knight d7, and I was slightly better here. Yeah, I don't know, I didn't see how 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 I would have the... Ah, now king g7, and I have two passers. Okay, that's that's right thing. Okay, that's Magnus puzzle. Ma Magnus made it. He's open in here. I know, I got this puzzle so many times, see, knight h5 is the first move, right? I mean, there is queen g5, but queen g5, fg, then rook f7, king h6 there, so I think knight h5, yeah. Ooh, it would be pretty shameful if I, wouldn't, <laughs> if I wouldn't solve the puzzle, but I did, so it's pretty good. It was actually a hard puzzle on rating, <laughs> okay. Um, but it's a really famous puzzle, so for me it wasn't hard. And I got like three or more times on chess 24, so I already know it like two plus two times two. <laughs> um, is it knight? No, knight h6, queen f6, king g2, queen f4. Why don't you just take a free knight? Uh, let's see. Oh, some endgame puzzle. I mean, I'm pretty sure I have to. I'm not pretty sure I have to win here. Uh, what is the mate threat? Knight e1. Oh, that's beautiful. That's d4, knight b4. And if you move this bishop, I have knight d3, mate. And if you move this knight, knight c6. That's beauty. Because, wow, that's really nice. So knight 6, so king cannot escape to through d4. Knight d3, so king cannot escape through f4. Beautiful. Uh, let's see what is here. I mean, f6, and then I guess knight db5, knight cb5, knight, knight b5, just not, not even knight cb5, just knight b5, and then knight d6. Oh, that's a draw. That's a really famous endgame draw, I think. I mean, bishop d8, I have to do. Yeah, here. Or wait, is it a mate? Is it a mate? It's a mate which should be five friend. Yeah. Now I go bishop c three. No. It's bishop seven. And then bishop here. Okay, usually, but this puzzle, I was thinking, bishop, yeah, if queen f2, then there is bishop c7, queen f4, g3. I was thinking it's this puzzle, but it was a little different puzzle. All right, queen c5, queen f8. Pretty lost there, I think. Uh, what if I just did gf? Does anything bad happen there? Hmm. I'm not sure actually, guys. Um, let's see, GF rookie eight. It looks scary, but it is probably scary to be fair. Uh, wait, GF there, there. He has bishop d3. So really unpleasant. Okay, here, here. I'll take. No, it's not captured. Wow. It was queen queen c4 what a beauty move that's insane queen c4 you sack your queen and rook h2 absolutely insane wow it's very cool Okay, 
just win a coin. <laughs> it's like, I mean, there there is a cat, right? That wasn't. Uh, queen h6. This, this, this. Zero, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay, that's rook c8. It's pretty easy. Let's solve one more. Um, I had this puzzle yesterday. I didn't remember it. Oh. Wait, this is G6, right? No! I had it just and then I failed it again. 95 G6. Eh. <laughs> oh, how did I fail that? Oh, wow. That's, that's a shame. <laughs> um. Let's see, bishop g6, bishop b6, I'm sorry, d, queen g6, king f8, d6. Bishop down, down, bishop b6. I have to say it for sure. I'll say bishop b6, they take. Yeah, yeah, nice, 12. 12-4. Yeah, <laughs> nice. So in the game against Komodo, 96.01 for him, 96.3 for me. Zero brilliant moves, which are fast, five great moves for him, two for me, 31 best move for him, 20, 37 for me, 10 excellent for him, five for me, seven good move for him, eight for me, six book moves for each of us, win next for each of us, two mistakes for each of us, one blunder for each of us, and zero miss wins for each of us. So let's see what happened. I mean, yeah, I played really, but if it was a mistake, he just said I play E3. I mean, he played weirdly, and that would be a draw. Queen to a blunder, he just had to go knight e4, and still, that would be better, but it's fine, because queen e4 castle this, this, bishop of 5 okay, knight 6 we win time, and then bishop of 5 and it would be just better, because his king is really, 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 oh, naked, I guess, I'm not sure. So here, queen e5 blunder, he had to go for knight e7, queen f6, and if he castles, why, well, I just have knight e4, right, I mean, oh, but he has bishop d3, I mean, rook d8, c5 stuff, rook c8, like rook fd8, rook c8, and c5, bishop b6, ah, yeah, bishop b6 and knight e4, exactly, and I'm just winning. I played queen e5, this, then bishop e8 was a mistake, I still was better, I had to go for rook d8, and this I would be better, because if he takes rook a4, I have that, and c4, bishop b6, I'm not better, but this, and this, and now bishop b6 works, right? Yeah, I don't win a pawn. So bishop e8 this, and then the game was pretty even, I mean he had some advantage I guess, but rook f5 played pretty well, d3 this, and yeah here he a bit threw it, rook e8 mistake, I had to go for h5 immediately here instead of king c4, and here I had to go for king g7, rook b8 h5, and then I would have two connected passers, maybe I could even win this, because here, here, I mean it would be hard, but it's definitely winnable, like rook f1, rook f5, push the pawns, and that's... Who win that by played king f5 and then it was a draw. I tried I tried to win but of course it was a complete draw so So yeah it was a draw at the end. Let's check a review of the game. Pretty pretty decent stream today. Let's see next key move. It was all good. We have six last book move, then e4 mistake, okay great move. Then queen e5 one to go for an 87 a really nice time gaining move. Then I would just win upon bishop six and e4. Then bishop e8 mistake, I had to go for rook d8, still keeping my extra pawn. Then this, yeah, that was, I was a little worried when he played this b4 naked because of mate. But it was fine, and here king f5, mistake king g7 was a really cool move. And then, at the end, uh, at the end, I would be one. This, in summary, plus 2.2. Ninety-eight point six. I wanna check with Leech's table base by the oh and a temporary game. What am I clicking? Come on. Uh the board, clear board, pawn here, pawn here, pawn here. I'm not sure if it actually works. Uh the table base, it's maybe way too many pieces, right? Analysis board. Does table base work? Unknown kin of five drone. Okay, let's see here. It's everything F6 is unknown. That's pretty interesting. Rook d8, g4, rook d6, h. Okay, he at least knows rook b4 is losing, but he doesn't know what rook b2 is. <laughs> okay, h5. But to Alicia's computer, which is like more precise, it's lost, it's a drone. And rook b4, he has rook h6. Rook h1, so it's a drone. Okay, makes sense, cool. 
So, great stream. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please join the special discussion club on the team. There are 175 members. Thank you all very much. 25 members and we turn on 1,000 members. And also, please join the club. It's called the Tiffin Fun Club. Member club there. Our 163 members, thank you all very, very much. 37 more members and my tournament, 200 members. So feel free to join if you are happy and sing your following on chess or enjoy Twitch and visual dislike button. And subscribe to your Discord, see you in the Discord chess, let us come and also please my Discord, link in the description. And yeah, bye bye, come back, see you soon, see you tomorrow, and have fun, see you all, see you cool.